some Indians really think that ISRO's achievements are overrated? In our previous coverage on ISRO's recent accomplishments and how it masters cryogenic propulsion, there were quite a few, uh, for the lack of a better word, doubters. Dear viewers, there is more to where that doubt stems from. And maybe it's quite genuine or valid even. The frustration can be called real. And that is exactly why V. Narayanan also emphasized exclusively on AIM TV. The Indian Space Program was started 63 years back. And at that point of time, we were 70 years behind advanced countries, taking rocket pods in bicycle and satellite in bullet cards. From that bicycle rocket and bullet cart era, we have moved forward. Lot of places today, we are number one state we are trained. And we are going to become a world leader. For example, right now we have built a satellite called NSR satellite, NASA is a synthetic radar satellite. 50% satellite belongs to NASA, 50% ours, and we have built the satellite. An honorable prime minister standing in USA and declaring this satellite will be launched by our own launch vehicle. What type of proud and proud movement it is. And we are building a satellite for G20 countries. And India is taking the lead role and we are building the satellite for monitoring the air pollution, climate changes, everything. And the satellite is ours and 40% payload is ours, 60% payload will come from, from other countries. And we are taking gradually leadership role. Rightly put, because the frugal mindset can only get us this far. But now imagine what ISRO with all the resources can do, can achieve. Because ISRO isn't just looking up, it's moving faster, farther and more fearlessly than ever before. How? We'll break it down for you in full detail. The breakthroughs in cryogenic propulsion were just the start. ISRO is building a reusable launch system with the first stage recoverable and reusable up to 35 times. SpaceX, we're catching up. Human spaceflight, obviously, in the form of Gaganyaan. The first uncrewed mission of Gaganyaan is scheduled this year. Human-rated cryo stages, spacesuits, and environmental control, all made in India. And crewed missions aren't just coming, they are nearly ready. That's right, Indian astronauts will be in space through Gaganyaan. Chandrayaan-4, lunar sample return. After the historic, world-renowned success of Chandrayaan 3's soft landing, ISRO now has its eyes on Chandrayaan 4, a lunar sample return mission. You heard that right, we are bringing the moon back to Earth. And of course, then comes the Indian Space Station. Just by 2035, that means in less than 10 years, India plans to launch its own multi-module space station. The first module is scheduled for 2028. No longer just visitors in space, we will be hosts. Then comes Aditya L1 solar mission. We are also staring straight into the sun with Aditya L1. India is now one of the only four nations with a dedicated solar observation satellite. Nisar satellite with NASA. In a bold partnership with NASA, India co-developed NISAR, the most advanced Earth imaging satellite ever, built 50% by ISRO and launched by an Indian rocket. PM Narendra Modi himself made the declaration on US soil. And then comes the India-led G20 climate satellite. India is leading a G20 mission to build a satellite that tracks climate and air pollution across continents. And then of course come the indigenous electronics and sensors. And it's not just a rockets and satellites. ISRO quietly indigenized nearly all of its critical sensors. Out of 34 key launch sensors, 32 are now made in India. Even processors like Vikram 32-bit are homegrown. So in every true way, Atmanirbhar Bharat. And then of course, come the electric propulsion system. Coming soon is the electric propulsion that's six times more efficient than traditional thrusters. It will quite literally redefine the way we explore deep space. This evolution was unveiled at the perfect venue possible. The Nano Electronics Roadshow held at IISC Bengaluru, a landmark event where mighty Tata Electronics, LAM Research and ISRO itself shared one stage. Over 100 technologies, 50 plus innovations and 700 plus industry leaders coming together to map India's chip to space future. There, ISRO showcased its tech arsenal. 34 fully indigenized sensors, nanoelectronics for deep space navigation, and of course, the Vikram chip, developed at Semiconductor Lab, Chandigarh. I mean, there was a time when ISRO started off where payloads were launched in a bullock carts, in bicycle wheels, to now 
we are literally landing on the moon, crafting reusable rockets. India's space journey is one of resilience, science pride, vision. And that's why India is now not just catching up anymore. It's leading the way. This is ISRO's boldest chapter yet. This is the launch of a space legacy that belongs to every Indian, every Bharatiya, you, me. So now, to all the doubters out there, do you still feel that ISRO's achievements now are overrated? Tell us in the comments below. And of course, the ones who never really doubted, tell us how proud does this make you feel. For more such real-time live updates from the world of tech and AI, don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV. And of course, subscribe because we bring to you the grassroots level success stories, Indian stories. Because think space, think AI, think AIM.